In this video, we'll be talking about the obviously the daily Arsenal news of the day, such as a potential uh, follow the Malagan update and what Arsenal want to do with him in the summer, and perhaps uh, if we do sell him, what strikers Arsenal looking to replace him as well. So let's get right into it. So starting off with Follow and Balogun, Simon Collins has put out this on the standard. Arsenal will hold talks with Follow and Balogun and his represent representatives in the summer over his future at the club. Expected to be plenty of interest in striker after his brilliant season in France. PC are uh, assessing the options open to Arsenal and charting Balogun's value. So a little bit on the article is the most important bit of what I've uh, taken from it. Arsenal may elect to may elect to integrate Balogun into the squad, but it will be a temptation to cash in on him while his stock is high. The 21 year old will have just two years left on his contract in the summer. Uh, Balogun can play anywhere across the front line, which makes him an attractive option. However, his departure would allow Arsenal to target a more physical striker. The club have scouted players in that mode recently, tracking Dominic Calvert Lewin, Dusan Vlahovic, Tammy Abraham, and Victor Osimen. Arsenal and um, um, all of Europe's biggest clubs have taken note of 6 foot 3 in from striker Razman Holland, uh, who scored 5 goals in 2 games for Denmark last week despite only being 20 years old. So we talked about Balogun before, again let's just hope he continues doing well at Reims, depends what Arsenal will do, in my opinion I think we'll give him the pre-season, but uh, will we, if will, I think we'll see what he does in that pre-season, if he does very well I think we might give him the season, if not then perhaps we don't want to keep him because if we don't play him he may lose his uh, value and we won't sell him for as much whereas if we sell him out now we can get some good money, we'll wait and see what we do with Balogun and he can play across the front three which could give him a good advantage but if we do decide to sell him you can see here perhaps a more physical striker because all current strikers of Gabriel Jesus, Edin Ketia and perhaps Balogun don't get me wrong they're all quality they're very very good players but a more physical striker is what I am um, I do get it because uh, Calvert-Lewin, Vlahovic and um, Osman awesome people like this they're different type of strikers as well as they you know they can they're more physical as they said and probably less have less flair about them like a Gabriel Jesus so it's interesting to see because this would give us another option and uh, there's five options apparently that we're looking at I think the most likely one is probably the Danish guy although there's lots of competition for him as awesome and will cost a silly amount of money I don't really see that one happening uh, Calvert-Lewin Abraham Vlahovic perhaps as well if everything goes down we can get Calvert-Lewin but uh, if you want a quality quality one or you want awesome in but uh, a more cheaper version but lots of competition will be the um, Holland guy who's got a hat trick so be interesting to see what Arsenal do if we do decide to sell one of our strikers we'll be perhaps go for a more physical one I'll have to wait and see on that one but it's very very interesting that perhaps we do want a different type of striker as lots of fans have been discussing this as well the tomorrow transfer news is about uh, Lindstrom, uh, Patrick Berger works for Sport, uh, Arsenal FC among the English clubs pushing to sign Chesper Lindstrom, Frankfurt already preparing for his departure of the 23 year old midfielder, price tag 30 million euros with uh, Arsenal and three other UK clubs um, in the race which is uh, what the sources are saying and some just has backed this up um, and they work for Sport as well, uh, they've said this which translates to uh, they prepare the, um, for a departure of uh, Lindstrom, the Danish international can leave for 30 million euros. Uh, three to four clubs are interested, including Arsenal. Contract runs until 2026. So, very, very interesting one. We've been linked with them before, and perhaps this is a Bukayo Saka backup. So that's what I think. I think the club do still want a backer, um, backer, so Saka um, backup rather. So, because uh, he can't be playing 90 minutes after 90 minutes every game, as there will be suspensions, rest, and perhaps hopefully not, but injuries. And uh, Lindstrom would he be a good option? I've seen little bits of him. He does look like a good player, but perhaps we want somebody um, different. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. But we have to wait until I wait till some UK outlets come out and uh, talk about this as well. But. I think there is interest in from, Frank, uh, from us from about Frankfurt because he is young, he is a midfielder but he can play on the wing uh, and I know that for so um, it'll be interesting to see if Arsenal do move for him in the summer, we'll have to wait and see that one. One thing is that 30 million euros if we do go for him, I think that's a very very good price for him and even if he doesn't work out it's a little bit of uh, money there so we'll have to wait and see what happens here, it could be a good signing and even just for a backup for Saka we'll have to see, uh, wait and see if we do go for him, if we go for somebody else or perhaps we don't get a winger at all. Perhaps we just want to use Reese Nelson or something now. Uh, we have to just wait and see until the summer. 
Last bit of news on this roundup is uh, not really transfer news at all, it's more of the Arsenal kit. As I've put this on the channel earlier before, but some more pictures have emerged. Uh, as you can see, I'm at AFC, they posted this more pictures of Arsenal's potential kit for next season. So, I've seen you guys in the comments, I've seen lots of people online. It's very mixed in my opinion, uh, well, from what I've seen. Some people have been like, oh, I love it, the gold can mean champions if we win it, I do like it. Some people are saying, I don't like it at all, I hope we keep the black kit. And um, one thing, I really do like the black kit, by the way, I think I wouldn't even mind if we do prefer uh, if we want to keep that i don't think we will but as for the home kit i i'm i'm not sure what i think about it i think i need to see it on the player first to you know properly see how it looks but as of now i don't think it's horrible i don't think it's as good as you know the one now but maybe but as of um you know looking at it i don't mind it i don't mind the gold at all uh, it'll be interesting to see as well although it is just a kit we have must remember it's not going to affect our performances as well so if it's just a kit if it's bad then it is what it is but with more important stuff is on the pitch and who's wearing the kit perhaps in the summer transfer window but as for design and people who like this stuff as well and um, i personally do not mind it i have to wait to see what the awake it looks like but um, very very mixed uh, opinions from uh, lots of people i've uh, spoken to and seen online as well so it's uh, interesting to see obviously this isn't the confirmed one but it's looking more and more likely that it will actually be this in the end so it'll be interesting to see if this is the final edit uh, not edit final kit for next season and that's it for this video guys again not the very largest of videos as well because it's just a little daily thing i'm doing now three bits of news or maybe a bit less maybe a bit more and they're not going into full detail of it of course just going talking about it a little bit so i don't want to make it you know a long long video every day as it's daily so um that's really let me know if you guys like this sort of videos as well if you um like these kind of daily videos then um, just every day talking about the three um most important bits of arsenal on that day obviously and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think would you want to keep Balogun do you perhaps want a more physical striker perhaps that the club are looking at as well such as an awesome man to I Abraham etc etc what do you think of Lindstrom as well if you've seen Lindstrom would you mind him with a Saka backup do you not really want him let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below like subscribe and uh, thanks again for watching